What did I watch? February 2024 edition. Well, I started off with another rom-com, this time How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. This one I had never seen before, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I found it pretty entertaining. Uh, the, the chemistry between Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson is really good. And I, I just like the premise of this one. I'm glad I added it to the collection. Uh, next up, I did Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the 4K. I did have a couple times where this disc, for some reason, uh, did not want to play in my PlayStation 5, but I uh, cleaned it off a couple times and made it through it. It was a little disappointing, but uh, the movie's great, and the 4K transfer when it wasn't having issues was uh, uh, pretty good. I don't know if this is a known issue for this or something to do with my PS5. Who knows? Then I watched Friday Night Lights. I had seen the show, had never watched this movie, so it was kind of weird when the movie ended up having people from the show. Um, the show was definitely better. This was just okay. I didn't, like, think it was horrible or anything, but, like, the show was definitely better. The next three, and I will do all three at once here, well, what are the Kung Fu Panda movies? Of course, I'm getting ready for to watch uh, Kung Fu Panda 4, and I wanted to watch these movies. Um, I like these movies. I think it's not the best DreamWorks franchise. I still think How to Train Your Dragon and Shrek are better than this. But it, they're fun and they're good. Um, I still like the second one the best. It's uh, got the best villain. But uh, they're good movies. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the fourth one. <clears throat> then I was wanting to watch a sci-fi movie. So I went with Elysium. Um, this movie gets a lot of hate, and some of it is deserving. It's, 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 it's an okay movie. I don't think it's, uh, deserves all the hate it gets. It has a cool premise. It has some cool characters and some cool sci-fi stuff in there. It doesn't have the best ending. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I was in the mood for something sci-fi, and I hadn't seen it in a while. Then I wanted to watch a disaster movie, and for some reason I picked Deep Impact. I don't know why. I always looked at this as, like, the discount version of Armageddon, but it's not really that... Um, it's more of a more serious or more realistic take, I guess, on what would happen. Uh, you have Morgan Freeman as the president. I, I don't know. I enjoyed this movie. I kind of weirdly on this one, I like kind of the lead up to uh, the public finding out. Like the government kind of cover it up and stuff is uh, interesting. Um, but yeah, I enjoy that movie. Then finally, I've been saying I was going to do this for a long time. I started the Scream franchise. I watched all four of the first movies here. Um, weirdly, I thought the first one and the fourth one were the best. I did weirdly, uh, like the fourth one a lot. I still gotta watch five and six. I'm planning on doing that in March. Um, but I enjoyed them. They're, you know, kind of uh, fun slasher movies that kind of are like an introspective on horror movies. I get it. Or a, a commentary on horror movies. Um, and, uh, but they're also a horror movie. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh uh it's it's interesting it's interesting i'm not the biggest horror guy but uh these are entertaining and i am glad i added them to the collection and i'm looking forward to watching five and six so that i can say i've seen them all finally in preparation for part two i watched my 4k copy of dune and uh, it's amazing this is like probably my favorite 4k i have it's one of the best sci-fi movies ever made i heard the second one's exciting i'm getting ready to go see it so i had to rewatch this to get ready and yeah, it's amazing. Visually, the audio, the performances, it's it's great. The world building that goes on in this movie. Uh, if you haven't seen Dune, if, if you like sci-fi, Dune is the stuff. This is like better Star Wars than we've gotten in a, quite a while. So yeah, 